hey guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'll be unboxing a brand new vacuum cleaner my shark decided to stay in the locked position the first shark i had which you've seen me unbox i'll link it just in case you missed it it was locked you know when it falls over and it wouldn't open at all and then i got it replaced and then it did the same thing so i took it back and i was able to get my refund of 3.99 back so i decided to go for a completely different hoover because i'm like i don't necessarily want one that folds as much as it saves space and i love it because i could take it down to the car and stuff in the future i will get another handheld i'm just giving you a, lot, a little rundown of what happened but in the future i will get another handheld i'm not against handheld hoovers at all or vacuums as we call it i'm not against them at all but if something keeps having the same problem i'm not going to keep purchasing it so i decided to do some research and i kind of went in a different direction and i got like a cylinder vacuum if that's what we call it this is the mila i used to pronounce it mila but it's actually mila okay it's a german company it started in Herzebrock, germany back in 1899 and if you know anything about mila you know it's good stuff okay i'm not gonna lie whenever i get my house whenever the good lord bless me i'm gonna be having mila appliances neff appliances just top of the range because i do love my high quality stuff I think it's obvious. But anyway, I have to give a shout out to my darling, Inger, who did tell me that she went and she got this as well. And funny enough, as I was doing my research, this came up as a very good Hoover as well. So I was like, okay, let me get it. So to my darling over there in Norway, we're Hoover twins now. So this is the white one. I've gone, it's the color Lotus. So I've gone for it. It's the Mila Complete C3. It's got HEPA 13 filtration. It's got a streamlined airflow, seal bag system and maximum comfort. And the good thing is, according to the reviews, you could move and navigate a lot of the controls that you could see just here. You could use and maneuver them with your feet all right which is really good so we're going to get her unboxed i did get the one that is allergy because in here gets really dusty guys it gets really dusty so it's the complete c3 allergy power line sgff5 in lotus white for anyone who is interested i will have it linked below it's currently on sale directly on the mila website and also on john lewis so i got this on john lewis because i needed it like next day so if you go on to john lewis right now today is the 7th they did have an offer on i don't know if it's still on but yesterday which was the six i'm out of breath i don't know why which was the six they had an offer on where if you spend over 200 pounds you get 30 pounds off so i did save quite a bit on this machine so let's see what it's all about they said it's really good a lot of people have reviewed it um i've done my research you guys know i'm a research babe please do your own research i'm just going to be unboxing this probably do a quick little demo show you guys what it's like i've never used one of these i've never owned one of these i've always had an upright and a dyson upright and then i went over to shark which was the cordless and now i've gone to a cylinder style vacuum <laughs> which is this one here all right so let's get into it I'm going to open this up. Quite a big box as well, so <laughs> let's get this. Oh. Open up. All right, so I'm going to take the base out first. Okay. 
And you lot know me in these unboxing videos. Look at that. Already dropped it. Not good, is that? <laughs> All right. There we go. So we're going to rest it down. I love the fact that it stands up like this as well. If you could see that. That is right. Really, really good. And then you've got the hose. I don't have a lot of space. So I'm going to get the box out of the way. Okay. I'm just checking the wheels to make sure that this is not a return item. But John Lewis is quite good with this stuff anyway. So let's get this out. What I love about this, as I was looking at it online, all of your little, hold on guys, all of your little um, tools are kept in the top here. I really, really love that. I think that's quite handy. So that's really good. Your wire. Okay, first of all, let's do a weight test. Easy to carry very very lightweight it's very very lightweight i'm not gonna lie okay so it's easy to carry so that's already a bonus and also your wire is here i'm trying to show you a lot without hanging myself so it's all the way in which is really nice to have okay it's like a little car it looks like a little car to me it's giving me tesla <laughs> It's giving me Tesla, baby. It's giving me Tesla. So, um, on here, it says that I could get something for free. I think a high clean filter bag. So, this is a bagged vacuum. Um, the other one, I had a dustbin. But I feel like the bag will contain the dust better. So, this is my first time owning one of these. My Dyson was a actual dustbin as well, you know, like a bin. So let's get this open. This is the hose and I guess the instruction manuals in here. So this is like one of the most honest unboxing you're gonna see. All of my unboxings are honest because listen, I just be doing what I'm doing and not reading the instructions, okay? I don't recommend doing that. All right, so we've got everything out. So you've got the base, which is your motor, if you want to call it that, all right? You've got your compartment, which you just press that button and it opens with your little head. So you've got this tool here, which I would probably use on like furniture, on my bed, that kind of stuff. And I love the fact that it just fits in and it's not moving. Look at that. It's not moving. It's not falling out. Then you've got a short crevice tool. You could get a longer crevice tool on the Mila website. So you could just go on there and buy it as an accessory. I think they're like between 12 to 17 pounds or so. Obviously, you'll have to pay delivery if it's under a certain amount. So just be mindful of that if you need something longer. And then you've got this little tool here, the brush on it. The brush is really nice. Hold on. I'm trying to make sure I'm not going out of focus. Really, really nice quality brush. Let me give you a close-up. You can tell this is quality. Okay. And you could swivel it, I guess. So you've got it like that and then you could give it put it with a bit of a kink where it's like a um a y shape all right it would be nice there we go okay 
it comes with your extender pole, your holes at the back, and you also get another tool on top here. Once again, the brush feels really, really lovely. And, you know, it's nice. It feels nice. Doesn't feel like um, cheap plastic at all. So you'll connect the holes here, I'm assuming, and then you'll hold this and do whatever you need to do. So this is like a little handheld kind of thing, <laughs> except you'll have the whole thing to carry the cylinder, but that's fine. It's not that heavy. This is your floor tool and you could switch between your floors. You could select it up here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Feels really robust. I love that it's like a matte black as well. It's not super shiny. And this is what it looks like underneath. So you're not going to get a lot of debris caught up there from what it feels like. But if you do, just give it a good little clean, guys. You know, maintenance is everything when it comes to your hoovers or vacuums. And I've showed you a lot of everything that came in here. And then this is the instruction manual, which we are going to quickly read to make sure that we assemble this correctly. Because you lot know I'm very, very well known for putting things the wrong way. So as I'm sitting here, I'm flipping through the instruction manual. It comes in five different languages. So these are the five languages there. Obviously, I'm eating because I speak English and read English. <laughs> All right. So this is what it looks like. It's um, just going to quickly show you. It's a lot of reading. And then it's got the appliance guide. And it tells you everything there. Okay. How to care for the environment and all that jazz. All right. So um, that's quite good. And another thing I got, and I'm going to hide the code, I've got a voucher code here and I could actually purchase. I'm going to have to purchase my bags, though. I'm assuming it comes with a bag in it already, obviously, but I'll have to purchase my bags. So I'm going to go onto their website and see. I've got the code. I'm covering it. Um, if I could get, you know, the bags and stuff and then um, get a HEPA air clean filter, because obviously that's what we want. All right. So. That's a good little treat for them to give. Obviously, you're paying for it, but you're saving 40%, more than 40%. Okay? So, yeah. It's good to always have bags on hand. All right. The truth is, I don't know if I know how to get this all connected. And Okay, here we go. All right. The bag is already in. So, the bag's already in here. Okay? And... Okay, you could open it up so it stays up. I'm being gentle. You've got your HEPA Ear Clean 50 filter. So we're going to take this off. I've never had a vacuum with a bag, so I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing. Then you've got another filter here, it looks like. Just a little bit of felt. And this keeps moving down. Hold on, guys think I've sorted it. We'll see. Okay, so it's just a bit of felt there that you put in. Not regular felt, guys, because you have to be careful. You don't want anything that's going to catch on fire. Okay. Did I put this back in properly? Okay. So I'm going to have to sort that out. And this is the bag. Now, like I said, I've never had a bag hoover bought. I feel like this is going to be very good because when you empty all the dust won't be flying into your face. Now, I don't know if you've got a... Hold on, let me put your lot back on hands-free. Let me secure this back. Oops. I'm pressing all sorts of stuff. Okay. Make sure that is back in firmly, guys. So you'll need to change this and whatnot. And also, this is your filter just pops out the instructions will tell you how to clean it usually with these you just run them under water 
but what it looks like very easy to come out so as you can see i've just popped it out and it's out yeah she says <laughs> and just pop it back in make sure it's in properly now this is what i'm talking about because i've never had a bag i don't know oh, okay does this come out when you when you're changing the bag how do you change the bag i don't know that's going to be a bit new it's got an arrow so i'm assuming you have to pull this up okay there we go sweet i'm demoing it for you in case you buy it and you're like oh my god oh my god so i'm i'm, I'm basically mashing up my hoover for you lot you know you better give this video the thumbs up that it deserves so this is it it's the high clean um bag quite a good size bag they probably do bigger ones we're gonna see I'll, as i buy products for it i will show you guys i'm actually excited to use this stuff i don't even know if that's even normal so it's quite good it's quite easy to change the bag then it's you don't have to be fumbling with it and it's easy to put in which is good get the bag in there and then i'm assuming i thought what okay i think these little bits do these click in i don't know babes but just make sure your bag is firmly in make sure that is firmly in everything is firmly in And now I can't get the damn thing locked down. I don't want to break it. Imagine. Let me try to do this off camera because me. Mm -mm. Okay, you've kind of have to put it down a certain way and it just goes back in. I didn't want to do it on camera and mash up my thing. But anyway, you'll figure it out as you get yours. So that's that. Now we need to figure out what holes goes and what. Now this is my problem. I'm assuming this would go in here, I think. No? I don't know, guys. It doesn't say, <laughs> it doesn't say, hold on. You know when you're not accustomed to expensive things, it shows, you know, it really shows. But I'm assuming it's this that goes in here. There we go and then line it up there's a little thing there that you line up the little thing here on i'll show you in a minute if i remember and then i'm i'm showing you like i know what i'm doing right hold on lord have mercy you can this is like building a car the engineering on this thing with my other hoover i was just able to just go boom 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 but lord i'm out here building a whole vacuum now I don't know where this goes. This has to go somewhere. When <laughs> does it go on one of these? I don't know, mate. You lot, I'm going to eat my dinner. I'll be back when I'm finished eating. I'm getting stressed. I am back in business. Okay, I had to watch a couple of videos. I'm not going to lie because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so this part, you don't need to take this bit off and um this bit i was trying to move it and see how this moves and i couldn't figure it out but i figured it out you just press it down and it pulls back like that okay the c3 the uk one doesn't come with the actual parker twister floor brush so that's about 50 pounds on the miele side and apparently that's really good for wooden floors that's easily to scratch and as you can see i've got like laminate floors so i might invest in that at some point anywho um so i've pulled it back and this goes in here she says i don't even know lord have mercy see now why did it do that the chaos the chaos i'm looking to see if he's got any grooves there's no grooves inside of it as you can see so i'm just gonna 
put it in and try not to press the sides and it's supposed to click okay once it's click you know it's good all right so it should look like that <laughs> and the last bit is the telescopic handle now do you twist it i don't know how you operate this thing listen baby okay here we go i'm saying okay here we go like i figured it I, babes I, do, I don't know sweetheart i literally don't know we'll figure it out as time progress but this goes on to this she says as you could see there's a little hold on we're losing focus there's a little groove right here okay line it up did i put it the right way i might be chatting no yeah it is the right way lord have mercy you know what my videos are just chaotic this is real life okay so you could see it's clicked in okay so i guess because it's clicked in now you could see it extends now there we go there we go look at me look at me engineering engineering and then this obviously goes on here and it clicks all right now we're going to test this bad boy out and see how it gets on so let me plug it in guys and i'll be right back all right she is plugged in and like i said you could use your feet turn her on listen to that Just change the setting. Look at that bow. We're holding it. And it could go under my bed. Yeah. okay i'm holding you guys in one hand and i'm hovering with one i'm gonna move some of this as you could see i used my little dust brush thing right so i'm gonna move this and show you a lot of the dust and then i'll show you a lot of how good it picks up this is powerful it is powerful you can hear it it sounds like a a boeing ready to take off all right so that's the dust Let's pop her on. One pass. Look at that. Brilliant. You don't have to bend your back or anything. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. One pass, literally. So, you've got your addition, your subtraction. So, I guess this controls your suction. I don't know. Read it up and see. I could be chatting, Bob. You've got your um, noise control here. Okay. You see? Right. 
that's what it works like so that's it guys that's the mila complete c3 allergy unboxing i am going to go and get my free not my free but my money off this thing it's good i love the suction i love that it could go all the way under my bed because the the thing extends all the way out and it could go all the way under my bed as you can see my bed <laughs> has a lot of dust okay look just take that in take that in <laughs> it has a lot a lot of dust under there so this is going to be a dream to work with and where i've hoovered you could tell i've hoovered it it doesn't feel dusty love it in this corner love it obviously i will take the this off and use the other thing to clean the skirt ends and stuff so yeah we'll see how we get on thanks for watching and give the video a big thumbs up also before i go i will link the exact model that i've got in my description box so look for that and i will also link the videos that shows you how to assemble it in case you're a visual person like me and you were struggling so i'll see you guys soon bye